Hey guys, it's John Kurtz. Welcome to the YouTube channel where we talk college football all day, every day, specifically conference realignment right now. Subscribe to the channel if you have not, and please like the videos and comment on the videos. It helps me out a ton. I'll level with you, helps the views go up, but I also love hearing from you. Even if you think I'm an idiot, I want to foster as much discussion and I love college football fans and the passion that comes along with it. So like, comment, subscribe, let's go. So guys, I always tell you to leave your comments on the video, and that is not just for my own selfish reasoning, okay, to get more views, but it's also because it helps you guys out, gives you a voice, and sometimes that'll get you on this channel, and that's the case right now. We're going to base a video off of a comment here because I think it's a valid point that deserves to be discussed here. This comes from CP. CP says, you are the second Sooner channel I've seen where you talk about Texas as much as you do OU. Well, didn't start as an Oklahoma channel, but that's okay. Texas leaving and they're arrogant. Oklahoma leaving, they're doing what's best for their university. Also mentions the fact that Oklahoma is leaving behind Oklahoma State. Texas not doing that to a brother university in his words. How is it not arrogant for Oklahoma to be doing that, but it is for Texas? So in essence here, the question is asking, why is Texas getting so much more vitriol than Oklahoma on their way out the door? This is a totally fair point. If I were a Texas fan, I would be thinking the same thing. I'm not sure how much ultimately I would really care, but I would be annoyed by that fact because let's be honest, Oklahoma is coasting a bit in this whole deal as they both go on to the SEC. Most of the talk about the Sooners is just how good can Oklahoma be in the SEC? Can they win championships there? Meanwhile, Texas is taking shots like this. But what's your athletic budget? It's over 200 million. It's probably 220, 225 in that range. Where does that put you in the U.S.? Uh, depending on the, how you count, probably first. And that's without a winning football team of late. It's in, in spite of our, in spite of our football team. We, we've been winning, just not like we like to win. Three and seven against the Horn Frogs. Um, <laughs> so um, maybe your fan base would rather lose to Alabama than TCU. So. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, Texas fans. I'm going to have to play that at every single possible opportunity. So expect much more of that here on this channel. Uh, look, I think it can be summed up like this as far as how the Big 12 and most people feel toward Oklahoma and Texas. I remember Max Olson from The Athletic writing immediately after this happened, after that first Wednesday when the story broke from the Houston Chronicle that Texas and Oklahoma would be leaving. He said sources around the Big 12 were saying that they were PO'd at Texas and disappointed in Oklahoma. And I think that's how most people really feel about this. Much more disappointment for Oklahoma than it is just pure anger because the Sooners have actually earned it. And that's the key here. Texas has this whole aura of daddy's money, daddy's money and this unearned arrogance with a football program that has been very average over the last 10 years. And yet Texas gets the spoils that should be going to the victor. Let me put it this way. Oklahoma is the program that has actually earned this, right? The Sooners have won six Big 12 titles in a row. They've won 14 of the 25 Big 12 championships that have been crowned since the league started back in 96. And they've been the only representative in the playoff for the league and have been there for the last seven years. If you're a fan of anybody else in the Big 12, you have to just throw your hands up and say, look, man, you guys have been the ones legitimately carrying this league. There's an element to the Oklahoma part of this where you, you just have to tip your cap, right? Tip your cap to the Sooners for doing what they've done and, and basically earning the opportunity to go play with the big boys in the SEC. And I know it, it pains me to say that, but when you have Alabama rolling like they have, when you have LSU from a couple of years ago, Georgia, Florida, you have to admit, it's going to play with the big boys. This is exactly what Oklahoma's doing. Feels like they've earned the right, does not feel like Texas has earned the right. Uh, like, think about it like this. I always like analogies, okay? If you listen to my radio show, you, you understand how much I like analogies here. But the analogy to me here is, all right, if you see you've got two guys on yachts right next to each other, and if you're just an average Joe like me, it's probably going to make you angry to see guys like just chilling out on their yacht. Like, man, what a life. Like, that's frustrating. Like, why can't I be that guy? But which one's going to make you angrier? Is it the guy over here who is on his yacht after he started a business from the ground up, guy was making minimum wage, took over the company, now has turned it into something bigger and better and just grinded his way up to the top, right? Completely earned the money and the success and the yacht that came along with it? Or is the guy who's next to him on that yacht that inherited multiple millions of dollars from his father and has never worked a full day in his life? Which one is going to make you angrier, right? At least you'll look at the other guy and be like, man, I'm jealous. I wish that were me. It sucks that I'm not him, but hey, this dude earned it. The other guy, you're like, man, bleep this guy. Like He just inherited all of this, did not earn it. It's not a meritocracy. And yet here he is sailing on the 
SS horns up or whatever you want to call the yacht. Ultimately, is that fair for Texas? I actually think it's probably not. I, I think Oklahoma deserves as much criticism here because they are they're crumbling the Big 12 just as Texas is. They are leaving behind Oklahoma State. There are a lot of feelings that are hurt here on all sides. So no, Texas fan, it's not fair that you are taking more of the vitriol, more of the jokes. But I would say, one, win some more football games, and this wouldn't be a problem, okay? If your football program was actually up to snuff, this would not be an issue. And two, this is not a meritocracy. None of it is. None of it is fair. Look, is it fair that K-State is having to be stuck behind here in what could be a, a, a league that's going to fall out of Power 5 status when they have been a better program than Texas over the last 10 years by any metric, okay? When K-State has been the third winningest program in the Big 12 over the last 10 years and may get stuck behind. Is that fair? No, it's not fair. Is it fair that that happens? Well, Missouri, a school with really no other advantage other than winning the birth lottery and being born, quote unquote, in a place where they're between St. Louis and Kansas City and TV networks or TV markets rather meaning so much the last time around in conference realignment, there's no real difference between Mizzou and K-State, and yet Mizzou has a seat at the table. K-State doesn't. None of this is fair. None of it is fair. Is it fair that Oklahoma State, a program which has had eight, nine-plus win seasons under Mike Gundy, has to sit here wondering if they'll have a future seat at the table, and Boston College in the ACC is locked up through 2036 because of that ACC grant of rights deal? No, it is not fair, but none of this is fair. So, Texas fan, it's not fair, but you'll be okay. You've got daddy's money. You've got the yacht. You'll always have a roof over your head because of that support there. Well, the rest of us, we're going to be scrapping and fighting for everything that we can possibly find here. So I appreciate you raising that point and have fun in the SEC. You'll be okay. Uh, please like, comment, all of that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Conference realignment content coming at you every day and college football content coming at you every day here throughout the football season as well. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.